Today, we're going to try to transmit data and numbers from one Arduino to the other using just light. No wires will run between the two Arduinos, but somehow, we're going to still transmit data between them. So how are we going to do this, you might ask? How are we going to transmit data without a wire? Well, we're going to use an LED and photoresistor to send and receive light. This light has two states, on or off. These states represent a 1 or a 0, respectively. First, I'm going to build a circuit that can receive a single bit of data over light. When the circuit detects light at the photoresistor, it turns on an LED. When there's no light at the photoresistor, it will turn the LED off. This is how I'm going to transmit a single bit, a single one or a zero, on or off, light versus no light. This works alright, but if we try moving the LED further away from the sensor, the data transmission stops working. This happens because as light travels through the air, it loses strength and the photoresistor can no longer sense it. This is also why things in the distance appear dimmer than things up close. Instead of just holding up the light to the sensor, I'm going to achieve a longer transmission distance by using a clear rod. This rod lets the light pass through with little interference and essentially lets the light travel further. Now let's hook this setup to an Arduino, because just moving an LED to turn on or off a light is kinda boring. I'll tape down the clear rod to some breadboards and set up the other Arduino with an LED so it can transmit light data. Let's try the same system now. As you can see, the light is getting transmitted from the first Arduino to the second one and telling the second Arduino when to turn on or off its LED. Now let's add a switch. Remember, the switch is not wired up to the white LED. The switch controls whether the light is sent from one Arduino to the other, essentially communicating whether the switch has been pressed or not. But getting one light to light up another light seems kinda lame and pointless. So let's get this light data to do something else. Let's add a motor to the other end. The first Arduino is checking the button to see if it's been pressed or not, and if the button's been pressed, it sends light through the rod. When the second Arduino receives that light, it turns the motor clockwise, but if the second Arduino detects that there is no light, it will turn the motor counterclockwise. Remember that there is still no wire going from the switch to the motor. The only connection between the two sides is this rod where light can pass through. But the light we're transmitting is just a single bit, a one or a zero. It can be on or it can be off. But how do we use this to transfer numbers or words or other data instead of just turning something on or off? Well, the way we do that is turning on and off the light very fast in different patterns. Let's build another circuit. When I hit the button, the number on the screen is converted to binary and sent over as light. The second Arduino converts it back to a number and displays it on the screen. How exactly I transmit this binary over light is a little beyond the scope of this video, as it involved writing my own slow communication protocol. Undersea internet cables that transmit data between countries use fiber optics because of their speed. This example with Arduino was very basic and slow, but light is faster than electricity, so when transmitting data across an ocean in a real-world application to get faster response times, we use light. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.